was God on 9 11. The same place he was on 9 10. Sovereignly ruling the sky and heaven. On his throne is where you'll find him. Why do bad things happen to good people? But there's no good people. We're all evil. And God created the sea. Flipped the Genesis. It was great as could be. But since the nemesis. In the garden, Adam naked with Eve. God gave dominion, made them both free. But Satan deceived, they ate from the tree. Disobeyed with this greed and guilt taking some ease. Shameful indeed, now they're braving our deeds. God cursed the ground, now pain is conceived. We're falling feeble, all are evil. Uh, Satan bruised his seal, but God is diesel. We know that is the wages of sin. God arranges the wind, it's displayed in the end. Due to the fall, we favor iniquity. This explains all our pain and our misery. We never suffer if it weren't for the fall. Uh-uh. And we're all to blame, every person's involved. Every God made a plan, he's sure to resolve. Reversing the curse for those purchased and called. My friends, nope. he sovereignly declares the beginning and the end. Only incidents, no accidents. Just imagine it, no coincidence. He's intimate, get immaculate. He writes history, he's not bluffing. My God is sovereign over suffering, but sovereign over Satan. This is demonstrating his omnipotence. My God is amazing. God's sovereign, his plan's phenomenal. He's not the author of evil, man's responsible. Sometimes God brings suffering as punishment, like David's woes for breaking the covenant. What? We don't always suffer in direct proportion to how much we sin, but it is according to God's wisdom. His greatness shown, he uses our pain as his megaphone. As a wake up call, so we'll cry for help and get a faith up. Y'all not rely on self. Seek his face, cause we need his grace. Trials build character and deep in faith. Whatever he pleases, like save some to be forever with Jesus. All the pain that we presently feel can compare to the glory in heaven revealed. We have this treasure in jaws of clay, struck down, not destroyed by scars and pain. We share in the pain and afflictions of Christ. He's aware of the strain and our pits he will fight. He's with us despite our addictions and plight. In our dark tunnels, he's the flicker and light. And with infinite might, our pain, he's relieving it, relieving it. But it might not be immediate. The whole universe exists to display the greatness of the glory of God in full array. The glory of God shines fully in our face, the most in the presence of the glory of his grace. This glory of grace is seen the best, displayed at the cross at Jesus' death. The only good one, sinless and perfect, he died for millions who didn't deserve it. Suffering exists to display God's grace at the cross of Christ, where we're saved through faith. God ordained Christ's death in his perfect plan. It's called the slain lamb before the earth began. Mystery, Christ on the cross, all the misery, a greater pain in all of history. He died for sins, our falls, iniquities. God allows evil, call it mystery, Christ on the cross, all the misery, a greater pain in all of history. He died for sins, our falls, iniquities.